With the reality hitting hard that their chance to completing senior high school is all but over with the dismissal by the Ghana Education Service, Uzaima Hamidu has been left frustrated. After earlier apologizing again along with her colleagues in another video, she tells TV3 she has nowhere to tend to. Since I came home yesterday, I've not been able to eat because I'm just frustrated. I don't even know what to do. I'm a final year student. I'm to the point, it's just like some few months for us to complete and they are doing this to us. All my parents, my brothers, they are all confused. They don't even know what to do. And me to my family, they don't have the money to pay for any private school for me to go. Please, I'm pleading on you, you people. How fast? Both teachers and then but parliamentarians, people should have mercy on us. I'm really sorry for what happened. It was not intentional. We were only imitating people on social media. We didn't think it would go this far. Please, have mercy on us. Her brother wants the Ghana Education Service to temper justice with mercy. No responsible parent would condone what they did. But uh, in the same vein, we are pleading that they temper justice with Macy and that we should not throw them to the wolves. Uh, we should take them as our children, our grandchildren, and then help make them better people in the future. But Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Ministry of Education, Yao Opoku Mensa, says a decision can only be made if the parents appeal the decision to dismiss the students. We do anticipate, if it comes within, uh, that compassion that we do have within the space. Uh, people will want to call for leniency, for compassion for them. And, and it's an open society. Uh, we can't have that discussion. The doors of the Director General is always open for dialogue. And we welcome any suggestion which comes, or any dialogue which comes. We wouldn't close our doors or our ears to anybody. So we love to sit and look at the issues. The object of being in school is, or flatting a room is not necessarily to be punished. Um, that is not the object. The object is to reform that student. And so if that student is, um, is, is, um, is considered to have flouted any rule, governing his conduct in school. But I think what we all of us need to remember is that insult of whatever nature directed at whoever, um, names or offices irrespective, cannot be a basis to take away a child's constitutional right from him. And it is exactly on the basis of that that I think that GS did not act right, um, the school did not act right appropriately in these circumstances. And I have, I'm very firm in my in my understanding of our constitutional um, constitutional order, that this is a clear breach of the student's constitutional right, and this kind of um, conduct, either by the school or the GES, cannot be allowed to stand.